Eddie Reader, we're here at the Tartan Clef Awards. You have just awarded uh, an award, a gong, to Barbara Dixon. Yeah, she's well deserved. Um, she's just, I mean, she was a total inspiration. She was, uh, don't, not a lot of people know this, but she was actually massively famous in the folk scene in the 60s and 70s in Scotland. And she's one of the only, I mean, I think she was the only woman in amongst the sea of men musicians. That's so a she, difficult job. That. For a Scottish woman to sing like that, and, and the song she sung, I mean, Scottish folk, songs just really clearly made it made a pathway from operatic to more soulful way of approaching folk song you know rather than you got a kind of more more gentle version and soulful too she's got an amazingly soulful voice and then of course when I first heard her she was a pop star but uh, then I investigated further and of course the wonderful thing was when I started singing in 1978 in Irvine folk clubs, they used to say to me, oh, Barbara, you're good hen. You know that way the way yes. Scots know how to, how to compliment you and then insult you in the same time? So he was, she, they would say to me, you know, you're great hen, but you're not as good as Barbara. You'll never be as good as Barbara. I used to tell her that, that people used to say that to me all the time. Irvine Folk Club, Air Folk Club, Sterling Folk Club, Inverness Folk Festival. I mean, that's where I kind of learned my trade, and she'd come before me. So it's great that the two of you have come together tonight with Rab Hooks as well. Of course. I was very honoured to give her an award, and Rab, of course, I, I met through doing cheating, your cheating heart with John Byrne, and, and of course we had Rab and Michael Mara, who were, who were the musical directors of that. So that's when I met them. But certainly, uh, they 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 come from a time before me when they. When rock and roll was folk music in the in the early 70s, it's you know, as wild as rock and roll. Uh, much wilder. Forget it, you know. Forget it. There's men of 30 having six heart attacks in the folk scene before oh any dear. Liam Gallagher or Noel Gallagher knew how to, you know, suck to kill out a baby's bottle. These guys know how to party. Do you know what I mean? But that's I knew that anyway, you know. So I went to London and I kind of found it quite pathetic, actually. You know, it's like what you call a party. My God. Come and I'll show you John Martin and Danny Thompson and Ali Bain and Donald Lunny. They know how to party. Do you know what? It's, it's kind of strange for me because I always thought that music was folk music. Yes. Know? And especially because it was so authentic and real. And I found other kinds of music quite surface and persona led. Except, you know, people that were expert at it, like Bowie. There was very few people that could actually cut it for me, but Barbara Dixon was. Even though she did go down that pop route, I knew her from being a wonderful folk singer. Now tell me a little bit about your involvement with the charity uh, Tartan Clefts. So have you been involved with Nordoff Robbins Music Therapy firsthand? Well, my sister Rochelle uh, works with Mary in organising the Nordoff Robbins yes. and um, they introduced me to it. Uh, there used to be a thing called the Silver Clef in, in London and when I was in a band called Fair, Fairground Attraction, we used to go oh, there all band. the time. Yeah, Fatal Attraction is what I like to call them now. But at the time, we used to go to the Silver Club, and it was in the afternoon, but these are much more fun, and, and I think it's great to honour Scottish music as well, because I think we don't blow our own trumpet enough, really. And what else are you up to just now? You've just come off a tour. Certainly, I've just been touring for a month and a half. But what's amazing about this, uh, in order for this thing is it, it really understands a science that I don't think officially is clear, like that music heals. They use it with stroke victims, they use it when you're you know, trying to communicate to, uh, to people who are autistic, of course, we know the stories and the kids that get so much out of yes. it, or, or 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 people that just wouldn't communicate in any other way, but they will through music, and that's something that I don't think has been quantified scientifically in the chemistry of our bodies, like what music does to us, and I think Nordic Robbins is kind of tapping into that, and they know that it affects kids. I mean, they've had proof of it, so. You've got massive effect on, on things. Now, lastly, we're question this. Do you have a party trick or something that people don't know about that might shock us? Or I can do I can do a, I can do a trick with the beer mats. Right, okay. You need beer called? mats. Well I can make them turn around. But I see it'd be great to get yeah. beer mats. I can also make a cigarette. Can make them turn I can make a cigarette go along a table by just uh, looking at it. I can do that so I'm quite so are you a bit a bit, a bit Yuri Geller. <laughs> can you can you bend spoons? Uh, no. <laughs>